We are beginning tonight with big changes coming to the Salinas Police Department. The department is eliminating all special assignments and putting all of those officers back on the street. Action News reporter Lauren Siever is live at, poli at police, uh, the police station tonight with tonight's top story. Yeah, Aaron, 19 officers and four sergeants will be taken off of the special assignments and put back on patrol. It's what Chief Kelly McMillan says will fix the department. We are going to, uh, by July 1st, shut down every special assignment in the Salinas Police Department. Police Chief Kelly McMillan announced to the Police Community Advisory Committee Wednesday night what he calls the largest structural change the Salinas Police Department has ever undertaken. The foundation of the police department, that being patrol and investigations, is so cracked and unstable because it's so understaffed that we can't, we can't think about building into the future until, until we repair that foundation. As of July 1st, all special assignments will be eliminated. That means the 19 officers and four sergeants in the Violent Suppression Unit, Police Activities League, Place-Based Technical Services and Traffic Division will be put back on patrol. We've gotten so low and the working conditions are so difficult for the officers, particularly in patrol, that we're seeing them leave our department. And in order to prevent more officers from leaving, he says there needs to be a change. Right now, Salinas Police has 133 officers. Before the recession, Chief McMillan says they had 187, which they thought still wasn't enough. For now, he promises the public that safety will not be compromised based on these changes. If you take an experienced gang investigator coming out of the violence suppression unit and put him in a patrol car, that expertise doesn't go away. We asked Salinas locals what they thought about the change. I think it's a pretty good idea, actually. I wouldn't be too happy about that because uh, uh, there is a gang problem in, in this city and it's spreading to others, so we really need the gang force. Now, the chief says this will give the department a blank slate when Measure G money arrives. He couldn't give me a specific number, but says that he'll be able to hire several more officers once that money kicks in July 1st. Aaron. All right, Lauren, thank you. And once the department does hire more officers, the special programs will be reinstated.